UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. New life forms are being created on the University of Washington campus, creatures that can scoot, flap, rotate, and crawl. Their inventors are a collection of young Frankensteins in an intermediate industrial design course working on a project called Kinetic Automata. The idea is, is that it's a life form and it has to have several principles of life, but it's sitting at rest and then it has to transform in some way, which is either scale, rotate, or position. The students also have to come up with a goal for their creature and, of course, give it a name. So this is Jillian. Jillian's a jellyfish. And basically, I'm really fascinated by the sea and how just things in the water kind of move around and flow and just go with how the water moves. And Jillian's goal? I think Jillian's goal is the act of surprise. Because you wouldn't expect this to kind of flare out like that, almost like a puffer fish. Students are required to start with a concept, usually in sketch form, and then take that concept through several stages, eventually producing something that could have a professional application. The idea with these organisms is, is that every part of its function, or its body, or its skeleton, or its heart, or muscles, it actually is supposed to have a purpose. So if you see something that looks like a leg, it's supposed to act like a leg. I was working with creating something that was really um, abstract and I wanted to take like a really organic form and reduce it to um, something very linear. The goal is for him to move, um, so he moves forward. A major component of the class is creating a three-dimensional model of their project on a computer. Industrial design is usually involved with the physical aspects of a product, and model making is a critical part of the process. A lot of times, um, it's three-dimensional, so they'll actually go through phases of building sketch models, where a drawing, a two-dimensional drawing can only take you so far. Once they've designed the model, students manufacture some of the pieces in a good old-fashioned workshop, usually out of plastic, foam, or plywood. Back in the studio, they work with cardboard, glue, colored pencils, anything that adds personality to their product. But even though their creatures are made from simple everyday materials, they are all unique. A big part of um, design is storytelling. Somebody would um, professionally, they'd have a, a background story for the product that they're working on that they would then um, introduce to upper management to try to sell the idea or sell the product. So these students are making more than lovable toys. They are learning how industrial design works in the professional world, combining creativity, computer skills, and hands-on craftsmanship to make the products all of us use.